Yes, Liam McDevitt here with Level Soccer, and I'm back with another episode of Make Me a Pro. And this time, I'm joined by James McAtee. James, how are you doing? Good man. Good. How are you? I'm good. It's a good trip. Any excuse to get up to Manchester? I'm happy. <laughs> now look, going into a, a good part of the season now, pre-season back at back at City. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited for the pre-season tour. So that's what I'm, I'm looking forward to at the moment. Yeah. And a successful loan spell now back in back in the mix for you. What's your aims and goals going into a new season after? Proving yourself and, and having a good loan spell. Yeah, definitely to try and show the show the world how what I can do on the pitch and stuff like that. But I'm not really a, a numbers kind of guy. Yeah, I don't want to set myself goals in case I don't get there and it, it feels like a failure of a season. But right now it's just enjoying my football and have fun on the pitch. And obviously a load of minutes last season. Major differences between the Championship and, and Premiership. What did you take away from from that season? Yeah, it's definitely the speed and the athleticism. It's it's just a it's a different ball game and it's it's hard to get used to at the start. But once you get used to it, it's it's good to play in them kind of games. Well, look, not one for numbers, but any superstitions? Anything you've got to do on match day to make sure you're ready? It's just a tiny one. I just like to put my left foot on the pitch first, but it's only little. It's not it's not a big. So one. That's not that little. I think to, to think about that going into a game, yeah, left true, foot yeah. first. Yeah. Any reason? Just got my foot is no reason at all. Got to no. touch yeah. the grass yeah. first, yeah. And obviously, such a high-pressure environment, professional football. Anything you do to ease your mind and, and relax going into a big match? Yeah, definitely in the change room. I just like to speak to the person whoever's next to me. Just speak to them and just yeah. relax myself. And when it's like thirty minutes, twenty minutes to the warm-up, that's when I try and get in the zone. Is that music or is that like visualization? It's on and off. Sometimes I listen to the music that they've got in the yeah. change room. Or sometimes I'll, I'll listen to my headphones, but music doesn't really do much to me. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, not, it doesn't affect me. I mean, video analysis is, is so important. Are you someone who enjoys going back and re-watching training, re-watching matches, just to pick up on little things you could have done, maybe done a bit better? Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't say really much of it with training, but definitely yeah. with matches, I love to watch stuff back. Even when I do something good, I love to, yeah. to watch that back. So, yeah, definitely. Now away from footy, any any other sports? Is there golf? You're a golf, yeah, you're yeah, a golf man. Golfer, Some yeah. good courses up here in Manchester. Yeah, lovely courses. Yeah, good. I, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm getting better. Any, I'm getting better. In the in the city ranks, who's at the top? Um, with the young lads, is a uh, Ben Knight's very good. Yeah, but I don't, I don't really know much if uh, any of them can play. But I think I'd be up there. Yeah, it's a big big shout. Yeah, we we'll have to see it. I don't think so. You know, <laughs> I think I, I think I'd be up there. Now look, away days, long coach trips, flights away. One thing you're always taking with you? My Polga, my Xbox. Yeah. What are we playing? Oh, I'm gonna get, people are going to make uh, Rocket League. Rocket I, League? I love to play Rocket wow. League. Wow, <laughs> I did not expect it. Rocket <laughs> yeah. League. Love to play Rocket League. Is it League, good? Yeah. At least give it a spin. Uh, at the start, it's difficult, but yeah, it's a good game. Anything else? Just. Um, <laughs> I play a little bit of Fortnite as well, sometimes with my mates. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good. I'm not good at that, no, no, no. But just, just for a good just crack. Just for fun, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, look, we're here with Adidas. Obviously, we both got the, the brand new Predators. Can you see them on there? Look at them, beautiful. What do you think of these so far? I, I'm going to put this up there. I'm going top 15 Pred of all time. Yeah, definitely top 15, yeah. They're sharp, very sharp. I've only just put them on, to be fair. Yeah. But yeah, they look sharp. I like the, uh, the little white and pink. And for you, is there anything you like to do differently with your boot? Are you someone who always wears studs, always in a soft ground, or you like to? to no, no, it? never wear studs. Never. I can't, I can't wear studs; they're too heavy. Yeah. Just mould, mould every game. And anything you like to change? Anything you like to do to get them match ready? Um, no, I'll just put them in the steam before training. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. Nice. And uh, you're a cut sock guy. Grips? No grips. Um, cut socks doesn't matter. Yeah. Prefer to wear the grip socks. But yeah, I didn't want to. And have you seen my match socks? I, I just bring them low anyway. I just push them down. Keep your calves. Yeah, yeah. Together. So I don't yeah, cramp like up. It. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And Adidas, have they always been part of your journey? Was it a boot that you wore when you were when you were growing up? Yeah, I think I started wearing Adidas when I was Adidas. Yeah. When I was 13, 14. Yeah, and never stopped. Never was changed. It, was it an F50, a Pred, or? I, I think I started off. I might be wrong. I think I started off with Copas. Yeah. Because I had to wear all black, yeah. so I had the Copas on. And then I went to the F50s, and now it's now it's Preds. Yeah, no, Preds are my favourite. Happy yeah. in the Preds? Yeah, yeah, I won't change now. Well, look, for people who don't know what it's like to be in the elite environment of professional football, can you just talk me through a, a training week and, and a schedule of yours at sea? Well, at the moment, we've just come back into pre-season, training every day, yeah. no, no rest, get it in our legs. 
but the, the average day would report about nine, breakfast, just chill out with the lads for a bit, go out to train, maybe a meeting, but not really in pre-season, but on a, game, on a game week, maybe a meeting, go out to train, come back in, have your food, rest, go home, but in pre-season, do another session. Pre-season is yeah. tough, yeah. Two sessions, yeah. And for young people who are watching, you've obviously been a professional footballer for a few years now. What advice would you give them into starting their journey and progressing in professional football? I think the main thing for me was when I did make that jump into EDS or under 21s, whatever you call it now, is you have to try and be the, the same player that you are, even when you're playing with the, the younger team and don't, don't shy away and trying to affect the game as much as you can. And City, obviously, everyone knows the quality that they've got and the, the incredible world-class players that, that play at that club. For you, when you're in with those guys, the very top ones, what do they do differently? What's it like being in that environment where everything is, is so elite and so world-class? Yeah, definitely, especially at City, the, the technical ability that's on show, you just get to learn just even watching them. Even when they're playing something like two-touch, you just get to watch them and you enjoy it. But yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to learn from these players and, and just enjoy it at the moment. Who's the, is, the, is there one that every day or, or you just see do some, some crazy stuff in training? Yeah, definitely. Phil does some outrageous stuff and Bernardo with his techniques, are, he's a joke. Yeah. A joke, yeah. But James, I think we'll, next time I'm up, we'll get to a, get a round of golfing. Yeah, but, uh, love it too. That's been Make Me A Pro with Level Soccer. Stay locked into all the channels because we'll be back for more episodes throughout the season.